Okay, in this section, we're going to be talking about live photos. So as if you already have live photos enabled or you don't, um, we're going to look at how to take a live photo and some of the cool things you can do with live photos. So the first thing is um, when you go to a picture, you want to make sure that this thing up here, this yellow thing is on. If it's not on, it looks like this live off. But if it's on, that means it's going to take a live photo. Okay. So let's say I took a picture of my dog, Lulu, come here, come here. And I took a picture of him, Lulu, look at me, look at me, look at me, look, look. Lulu. Okay. So that's me and my daily struggle of trying to take a picture of my dog. So now, and I want it to be as real life example as it gets. It doesn't get more real life example than taking a picture of my dog. So let's look at this picture. Okay. Now the cool thing is that as I'm scrolling, it's going to show the, a little preview of a live picture. So if I hold my finger on the picture, this is what you will see. Look. And it also records audio too. So I don't know if you can hear this. Look. If I another one. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Look. This is Lulu being look stubborn. At me, look at me, look at me. Look. So I can go through all these, press look. play. And then what I like to do is I like to watch all these live uh, videos and see if I can find an exact moment in which there could have been a great picture within the live um, little video that I recorded. Now, if you don't know, live photo takes 1.5 seconds before and 1.5 seconds after you take the picture. So if you really want to capture a good live picture, what you want to do is hold the picture up, hold for a second, take the picture and hold the camera up. If you put the camera away right away, you're going to end up recording you putting the camera away. So you want to note that it's always recording. So you have the camera open, open, it's recording. When you take the picture, it's recorded, a, well, it's saved 1.5 seconds before and 1.5 seconds later after you take the picture. So you want to leave the camera on, uh, pointing at your subject. So I'm watching this. Now let's say Look. that slight second in which he's looking at me, I want to save that. The picture that is took is this one, but I'm going to go and edit it so that the main picture is the one that he's kind of looking. So what you do is you press where it says edit right on the bottom. You click edit and now you can scroll left and right and stop wherever you think it's a good picture. Let's say I like this one because he's sticking his tongue out, right? Then where it says make key photo, you press where it says make key photo. Now when I press done on the bottom right, this is a picture that I got. I got the picture of my dog's sticking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cute dog just looking at me. Let's see if I can catch him. Right now. There we go. I can only catch a good picture of my dog when I'm not staring at the dog. Look, watch this. Oh, good job, good job. Lulu, Lulu. Uh, and then he goes and does that. Okay, never mind. Anyway, um, let me show you another good example. Um, okay, to find live photos, you go to live photos here, and we got uh, this one right here. Okay, so this is a picture that I got. If I hold it, look. Then he goes down. Press edit. That's perfect. Make key photo. Done. And that is my picture. 
So you can already tell that this comes in handy when um, like things are going on and stuff, you know, they're about to blow out the candles, they're about to jump into a pool, anything that you want to catch that has motion in it, you might miss the shot. And in order to be able to find a good shot, you have two options. You can do burst photo or you can do the live photo. Burst photo I would do if I want to capture maybe like, um, what's it called? Uh, I know for sure it's going to be an action photo. If I know for sure it's going to be an action photo, I'm going to do burst photo. Because I'd rather have more pictures than frames in a video. Okay, um, you get higher quality pictures. Now, if you miss a shot by accident and all you have is a live photo, then at least you can go and go back a frame or two and find the right picture. So my recommendation is, you know, uh, have live photo on if you like, whenever you can, like things are important or something and like you can fix the picture, stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just, I, I personally haven't been using live photos, but when I recently learned that you could do that, I'm now starting to rethink everything. Maybe I'm going to start using live photos more often. Okay. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something about live photos. And now we're going to move on to the next lecture.